Warning, there may be some scenes that some viewers may find distressing from the outset. Viewer's discretion is advised. Sex, drugs, and maybe not rock and roll, maybe just big band. And a bit of noir. I thought I'd done something on Black Sad before, but it turns out I hadn't. Black Sad is a very strange little thing, as it's... As a game, it's a kind of adventure type thing along the same lines as Telltale's The Walking Dead or Batman or whatever they got their hands on this week. And it's not bad, but it is developed by those who made the 13 remake. Yes, that one. The one with performance so piss poor that it might as well when I walk into just office, not have been made. However, Black Sad before office. it was a game was just a comic book or a graphic novel if you want to be pretentious and pretend that you're not being a bit childish by going, ooh, look pretty pictures in the cartoons. When I reviewed Black Sad for the site, I actually did a bit of research. I know. Oh, must be a real journalist. So I, I got the copies of the uh, comics or kind of the graphic novels, however you want to label them. And I I did a thing where I read them. And I'll be honest, I kind of liked the game better for reading the graphic novels. I, I actually found them to be the bit that got me into the game, even though the game was the reason that I went to them. And it's it's a weird little thing, because while the game isn't the best, it isn't the best adaptation of any novelization or graphic novelization, whatever the term would be, but it's it works. It kind of works, because it's just a bit rough. It, it doesn't have all the polish that something else would, but it does have a bit of charm to it. It does have something about the graphic novels about it. It has that sex, it has the drugs, it has the racism, it has all of this that is just a mirror of our world, our very dark and horrible world filled with racism and hatred and just general villainy. And it's beautiful. It is bloody beautiful. The world that is, not the game or the novels. They're, the art is the biggest thing that's beautiful in the graphic novels, and it's it's certainly something to behold to open the graphic novel and go, OK, I'm going to read page one. Oh, there's a cat's breasts. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. Right. Um, yeah, it, it does lean into very adult themes. And I do mean very adult themes. The first thing that you see in the game is a man hanging from a rope in an implied suicide. So it's a bit, um, it's a bit grown up. And for all the grown-up kind of themes that the game goes for, it still looks very... I, I don't want to say child-friendly, but it does... It, it lacks a bit of grit in the visuals to suggest... Yeah, maybe, 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 mm, yeah, um, there's quite a bit of racism, there's quite a bit of implied, um, uh, uh, um, right, um, uh, yeah, don't, 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 if, 
mm, your child might not be the target audience. There's nothing that says, hey, yeah, kid's not welcome, because... I don't think many people know of the visual novel series Black Sad. It's a, I think, Portuguese? It's either Portuguese or Spanish, and I'm pretty sure it's Portuguese um, novel series that ran from uh, the early aughts to the mid-2010s, I believe. There's not many of them. You can breeze through them in about an afternoon if you really like them, but it, it's quite a nice little bundle of kind of visual novel, adult-themed Zootopia slash Zootropolis, depending on where you are. And it's it's a very nice thing, but unless you know that Black Sad, the graphic novels, are a bit adult and you know that the game is going to be that, I can see why some might go, oh, I'll get that from a kid. Oh, right. So the very first scene, there's a rhino talking about infidelity. Uh, a minute later, you have a gorilla and a woman coming in going, hey, um, yeah, a man... It, it appears that a man committed suicide and a bloke went missing, so um, I want to hire you to find the bloke. And I don't really care about the whole dead dad bit, just, um, you know, get the get the bloke because he owes me quite a bit of money and I can deal with things with that money. And that, I think... The adult themes are what really pull me through quite a bit of it because, yes, the performance is absolutely dire. It is bollocks. Jesus Christ. I've seen slideshows with higher frame rates than this bloody game at times. It does have a bit of a roughness about it in that sense as well as the general kind of... I don't know. It just it has something about it that's very... You can see that it's not a one-for-one one of the comics, but well, the, the graphic novels or whatever you want to call them. Sure. But it's certainly a, it's taking inspiration from them and it's yeah. using a bit of that and going, we'll right, I'm going to I'm sure we'll enjoy a bit of price. this and a bit of this world. And that, is, that, I think, is the good bit. That, I think, works. The world works because it's so... It's so inviting, but all the same, it's very noir kind of New York. It's it's very ugly on the underside. It has a veneer of beauty to it. It has a veneer of, ah, this is pleasing. This is artistically pleasing to my eye. And then you see the underside, the adult side, the gritty and horrible everything that is black sad. And it's it's really good, but all the same, it's a bit um, piss poor on performance. I, I don't know what else to say other than, yeah, the performance is, to this day, I think over a year on from the review that I did, absolutely piss poor. And I wish it wasn't. I wish they would pull their finger out and fix that. Because I would suggest Black Sad to quite a few people if it weren't for that. Instead, I'm suggesting the graphic novels over the game. And if you like the graphic novels, you can enjoy the game. See where I'm going with that? Yeah, it it makes me wonder why I'm actually reviewing the game and not the graphic novels right now. Ah oh well. <laughs>